Hello and welcome to World 3 of Super NC World. So, so far I've put about almost 9 hours into the first two worlds, especially because the two special levels that there have been have been really tough. Um, so I have no idea what we're going to get for World 3. Maybe it'll be even more difficult. Maybe it'll be about the same. Guess we'll find out as we go along. Starting with Dual Weather Desert. So, two different kinds of weather wonder what that's going to be like. Oh, maybe one is going to be sunny and one is going to be like the stupid garbage wind that I despise with every fiber of my being. I don't know. We'll see. Clearly, I'm in a I'm in a very positive mood right now. <laughs> I mean, I am. I am. I'm not going to lie. I'm in a good mood today. Yes, blow up. Blow up, my precious. But yeah, so... It's been a couple of days since I've last played any of this world. Um, dang it. Oh god, what the, what the heck is this? Screw it, we just, we just run with it, we just go. We just go through. What? Uh, I thought I was supposed to go down the pipe. Not having a buzzy beetle come out of the pipe. Um, but yeah, <laughs> trying to edit those first two world videos oh my god was it an ordeal just because like especially world 2 took me such a long time that it was just it took me it took me a very long time to edit those down so i mean hopefully they're decent videos at least hopefully the people out there enjoyed them oh my god Okay, so what's the deal now with the Buzzy Beetle? Unless I'm supposed to, like, boost jump my way up here. Ooh, 30 coin. Well, I could definitely use some extra coins. Wait. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Oh, kill the sun, maybe? Ah, there we go. That would have been cool if there was something in that roof, though. Alright, let's keep going. Part two of the world. Yep, it's the wind. I was correct. And snow. Oh, we've got the... The alternating wind. Okay, so let's just wait here for the wind to cool its jets. There we go. Down here. No! Oh my god. Oh, I hate the wind so much. Alright, here we go again. Stupid fireballs. How did I miss the claw? <laughs> Oh, hey, I just noticed he can go in the house. And an extra life, I'll take that. Doesn't look like you go. You can go in the pipe, though, but I guess we don't have to. The extra life is a nice reward. And at least then I don't have to worry about getting a game over, which is always good. All right, let's just chill here, wait for the wind. Wait for the wind again. There we go. Hopefully I don't die here at all. Okay. Do I want that 30 coin? Not really. Honestly. <laughs> I don't trust myself to get it. God. Come on, make this jump. Come on, Luigi, jump like you've never jumped in your life! Oh, the constant wind does not make this easy. Oh, thank god. Oh, and it's nighttime too, so it's like extra slippery. Just focus. Focus! Oh my gosh! Oh, 
Oh my god, I've just powered through. Yes, yes, get me out of here, please. You know, it's nice that there was that extra life. Um, especially because... Oh, love. Screw the extra life there. Um, but I really wish that there were more of those kind of extra lives throughout the level. Like, it's... Especially when you're in a boss level or something like that, and... You know, you get to, like, checkpoint one or checkpoint two, and then you die and you have to start over. Like, it'd be nice if there was an extra life at those checkpoints. I didn't notice any hidden ones anyway, so... Like, if there are some, I like, I could be completely wrong, but there weren't any that I noticed. All right, level two. Looks like we're dealing with pokies. Pokey Pokey Panic. AKA the Super Mario Bros. 2 Remix. Okay, easy enough so far. Not gonna rush it. There we go. These are like dancing spider legs. Ow. Whoops, I did not Z that properly. All right, Z redemption time. There we go. Holy jeez, that's a big pokey. Um, this guy's gonna fall. Should I try jumping over him? Nope. Can I activate this and then... I, I, I spin jumped. You heard the spin jump noise. I think I got grabbed by the claw. That's why. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to get through there, but I mean, it, it worked. Oh, God. There's a checkpoint there. Yes. Yes, thank you for the checkpoint. I don't care, I'll destroy all of those and carry my spiky shelmet with me. Man, I hate that I lost my spiky shelmet. My extra one. Oh well. Oh, are we climbing here? Is there anything over here? Well, I can't get that with my with my fancy hat, so Hoi. Hyo. Hoi. Well, there it goes. Bye, Shelmet. Okay. My god, that looks treacherous. This one on <laughs> to the right here, the double the double pokey. Is there a safer way maybe on the other side? Nope. Unfortunately not. Oh god. Oh, I made it. No! Oh, I was so close. Oh my god, I made it through. Holy jeez. Well, this isn't good. Is there any way that I can win without a Shelmet? There we go. Oh, 
Whew. We managed to save that one somehow. Thank goodness we were able to get another spiky shelmet though. Ooh, and the extra life to boot. Okay, I'll take it. That was a pretty neat level. I liked it overall. It was just... Just like all the other ones, they've been pretty tough. Like, they're no gimmies. Definitely. Alright, give that one a like. Let's check out the next one. Oh boy, we have a ghost house coming up. <laughs> well, here we go. Level 3. So the, um, I mentioned, I think it was in the last video, I was talking about the cable guy coming. Um, he ended up coming yesterday and he, the heck? Oh God. Okay. Um, so it definitely did not take 10 minutes. It was definitely more on the, the side of the four hours than the 10 minutes. Um, and it's just so hard to get used to things like having a new cable provider that have all new like channels and like it's not even like the channels themselves that are the same or different but it's the numbers that are different and it's just very ow just hard to get used to i guess give me that 30 coin Oh, this ghost house is going to mess with my brain. Holy boo, man. Is there custom music? Something sounds custom. I wanted that 30 coin. Oh, well. Um, But yeah, it's just hard to get used to all of the different channels and... You know, having to set up all of the different shows and stuff that you record. And, you know, it's just, it's very time consuming. It's, oh, dang, another 30 coin. <laughs> um, it's just a lot of work. Which I don't mind necessarily, but I would rather have things the way they were. Because it's just, it's always a hassle when you got to change things like your Wi-Fi password and stuff like that. Oh yeah, that actually wasn't too bad. Um, and then of course you can't set up new recordings for shows because some of them aren't on right now. It's the summer season, so you can't do anything about that. And I don't know, I'm just complaining right now, but it's just a, it's a bit inconvenient. I'm hoping to test out my internet connection to see, oops, wrong way, to see if I can do any streaming at all. Um, so I guess we'll see in the near future. Maybe watch out on here. I don't know if I should like try streaming on YouTube or try on Twitch or try something else. I don't know. Pyramid Escape with a capital P. Well, this should be a good time. Wait, I want to know what's down here before I do anything. Okay, those are P-switch blocks. Got it. Hopefully this one doesn't take me five hours, <laughs> like some of the other ones. Oh god, the lava's rising. The lava's rising. And I missed that jump. Not a bad start to the level, though. At least the one good thing about getting a new cable box and having like the Crave, like I said, is that I'm not really missing out on any of or a lot of the shows and movies that I recorded. And I was able to watch most of the movies that I had recorded um, before switching over. So that was kind of nice. By the way, if you're looking for any movie recommendations at all, there were two really good movies that I watched. Depending on your taste in movies. Oh my god, I missed again. Um, they're two completely different genres. Um, so just to give you an idea about what kind of movies I'm into, I like a lot more realistic kind of movies. Like, I'm not really into superheroes and stuff like that. I like movies that have a, a basic story that you can follow that's like grounded in some kind of realism. So the first movie recommendation, which goes against everything that I just said, was Fright Night. 
the original Fright Night from like, oh my god, get up there. It's from like, oh my gosh, I messed up. <laughs> um, it's from the early 80s, like 1983 or something like that. Um, and it's about a guy who's like really into horror movies and he suspects that his new next door neighbor is a vampire. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was very interesting. It was very well done, very well acted. The story was interesting. Um, I don't want to give too much away. Also, there is a Fright Night remake. Um, I don't know if that's any good or not, but... <sighs> well, at least I made it a bit further this time. Um, yeah, I don't know if that one's any good or not, but the original from the 80s was very good. And I kind of like that, like, sort of 80s, almost like... I don't want to say it's campy horror, but horror movies from, like, the, the 80s and stuff are way different than the movies today, like... I feel like horror movies today just rely purely on jump scares and this one had like an actual story and not really like any jump scares or anything like that. So that's my first recommendation. Oh, can I even make it up there? No, I can. Okay, good. Oh god, I need to bring it with me. I didn't know. <laughs> well, I mean, now I know. Okay, let's just see what else. Okay, so that's what I need the, the PAL for. My other movie recommendation is an even older movie. And just to give you a bit of context, I was always like, I guess you could consider me an old soul. But it's just because of the stuff that I sort of grew up on with my dad, especially. Um, he was always showing me like old movies. We'd always listen to old music on car rides and stuff like that. Um, so I definitely have like, I'd like to think a good taste for like, older stuff um so this next movie is from i want to say 1957 maybe but it's called 12 angry men oh my god it's such a good movie it honestly might even be one of the best movies i've ever seen so it's a i guess like a courtroom drama but basically the whole movie takes place in a jury room and there was somebody that committed a murder and these 12 jurors need to decide about whether they should sentence him to death or like whether he's even guilty. Does he deserve the death penalty? Dang it. Um, but it was a very well acted movie. Again, the movie had me like glued the whole time. Um, and it's just it deals with people and about life and about. I don't know. It's like it's a human story. And it's like relatable today because look how many people get the death sentence today. I can only speak to the States. Canada doesn't have a death penalty. I know a lot of places in the States do. Um, so I can't really relate to it on that kind of level. Um, but it, it was very interesting, the whole thing like, well, we are literally deciding whether we are sentencing somebody to die or not. And, you know, that's a, a very big decision that you have to make like you have to live with that on your conscience like i said that this person should die anyways it was a very good movie both movies too they're not very long they're like under two hours which is always nice for a person with a short attention span like me um but yeah both very well done highly recommend it especially 12 angry men i would say and one of the things that um it's not really a goal. I mean, I guess it kind of is. Um, but if you've heard of the website IMDb, they like, that's like the place to go to like see movies, um, like ratings and stuff like that. If you're interested in who acted in the movie. My God, how do I make that jump? Well, I'm dead. <laughs> um, but on IMDb, they have a top 250 listing of user rated movies so like the top 250 movies that regular people have rated um 12 angry men was actually i can't remember where in the rankings it was but it was in the top 10 all time so like you know it's a a good movie it's like a a timeless classic sort of idea so it's not just me that's saying it's good but everybody says it's good so highly recommend it Anyways, I'm going to focus on the level now. Oh. 
Oh god. Do I still have time to save this? I don't think I do. Uh, nope, because then I need to throw the shell at the on-off. Oh my god, did I do it? Did I do it? Oh, okay. Just gotta run to the end. Run, little Luigi. Yes! Holy jeez. This one actually wasn't too bad. It was far quicker than the five hours in World 2, and even a lot less than the two hours. It took me for the one World 1 special. This one took me about an hour or so to do. And really the hardest part for me anyways. Well there were two hardest parts. Oh, I don't care about that mushroom house. Um, two hardest parts. Number one was the, the pow throw in the middle. Okay they were both the pow throws. The one that was in the middle and the one that was before the very end. But the one in the middle was the one that I kept getting hung up on the most. I don't know why I was just... It was hard to... Oof! That was a close jump. Um, it was just hard for me to wrap my head around, I guess, the timing of it. Because I didn't fully jump over there. Uh, I'm gonna skip the coins. And just pray that more donuts are gonna fall. Thank goodness for that. More donuts, please! More donuts, please. There we go. Yeah, God. All oh, these are individual donuts. Great. Ha. Is there like a timing issue there? Or am I just supposed to wait for the second one? I'm so confused. Ow. That was poor timing on that part. On my part, I should say. Thankfully, though, we're almost free from World 3. I guess I'll grab these coins, why not? At least I might have a chance of not getting a game over. That was a really fun level, though. I loved the, the whole mechanic of it. It was very nice, very well done. Uh, like, oh my god, I just barely made that one. Oh god, I just barely made that one too. Yeah, so they are desynced. I guess they're supposed to be desynced, these two donuts. So I'll just wait for the, the second one. Oh! There we go. Oh, I was like, why are those arrows there? But now I see. They're swamps. Oof, jeez. That one scared me. Whew, checkpoint. Thank the lord. Thank the lordy. Whoa, 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 what is this rising lava nonsense? That wasn't part of the script. Why? Why are there donuts? Whew!
Nope. <laughs> that was a bad jump. Whew, how did I make that jump? I didn't like the look of that. Whew, how did I make it through there? Please! Oh, checkpoint! Thank god. Boss time. Let's give this a shot. Hello, Wendy. Ah, okay, what's happening here? Please just jump on Wendy. No, why did she have to jump? Oh, I was so close. So close, yet so far. At least I get a free fire flower, that's kind of nice. Any hidden extra lives? Oh my god, where did the bone come from? I really wish there was an extra life somewhere. That would be really nice. It would suck if I died in with any of these last sort of 12 lives that I have. Oh god. Oh, Wendy, why did you jump again? Alright. Third time's a charm, my friends. We got it this time. There we go. Just spam fireballs! Jump! Door! Oh yes, I told you, third time's a charm. And we made it to the end. Well, this was a really fun World 3. Overall, I, I, I'm I really enjoying all of the worlds. I'm enjoying all the levels. They're all really cool. Some of them are painfully tough, but not tough to the point where I'm getting overly frustrated. Overall, it's been really good. Holy man, ten, 10 minutes. Well, at least we cleared it. Anyways, that's going to do it for World 3. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, leave a comment. Consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. We are going to check out World 4 next time, but until then, have a good one, and I'll talk to you later.